Yar mateys, and welcome to another Tropical Rum Society meeting. I'm Matt, and today we're looking at another one of the Captain's Rums. And I will absolutely not be doing the rest of the review in that voice. That has ruined my throat in the very few number of takes that it took to get that to work correctly. Today we're checking out another Captain Morgan rum that they put out in Australia here last summer. It is the Mango and Pineapple Tropical Rum. As you can see, this one has been pretty popular with me, and I will let you in on a little bit of a secret. This is actually the second bottle of this that I have had, and I still have basically none left. So I figured, let's do it today. We need to review it soon or else there's going to be none left. So let's go. Let's jump into it, find out what it's like. If you don't know much about Captain Morgan, I'm going to leave a link to the original Spice Rum review down in the comments below, so you can go check that out after this meeting. But as a quick rundown, they're essentially one of the biggest rum brands in the world. They're best known for introducing affordable spiced rums, as well as their powerhouse marketing team. Over the years, they've experimented with heaps of other flavours and twists on spiced rums, like today's mango and pineapple. Now, much like the gingerbread Captain Morgan we looked at over Christmas, this one can't really be called a rum. Sitting at a measly 30% ABV, this one actually says spirit-based drink on the label rather than calling itself a rum because the alcoholic percentage is too low. In terms of what's inside, just from the colour alone, you can tell that this is not naturally produced. The label tells us that there's a Caribbean rum of some sort in there, as well as some spices and natural flavours. Mango and pineapple are obviously very prominent on the label here, so I think it's safe to assume that some of those natural flavours are going to be mango and pineapple, but I think it's highly doubtful that any actual mango or pineapple fruit went into the production process in this one. Now I don't know which natural flavour would be turning this that bright pink colour, but speaking of colour, let's take a closer look at it. My favourite thing about this bottle is the tiki style design. Obviously I'm a big fan of tiki, with my Hawaiian shirts and my ever increasingly tiki style set behind me, so this bottle is going to be one that I hold on to long after the rum is gone. Besides that, the bottle and especially the label are very familiar. We've got that standard Captain Morgan style design with some modifications to tie it into that tropical theme. We can also see the rum is a bright pink colour, which looked very striking when the bottle was full, but now that we're so low down in the bottle, it's lost a little bit of its impact. Let's pour some out now, lower that level down even more. No cork top today. We've got the standard screw fitting, but let's get this poured out. Nice bit of mango and pineapple rum, and whew, it is already starting to fill the room with scent. There's not really too much to say about this one in the glass compared to the bottle. It's very similar colour, some nice light pink with some maybe orange and brown tint coming through there as well, but obviously not a standard rum colour, that's for sure. Like I said, the nose on this one is very, very powerful. It is already filling the room. Very pungent, super strong, super sweet, and very much mango and pineapple. It smells absolutely artificial, but in the best of ways, if that makes sense. It definitely reminds me of some sort of lolly that I had in my childhood, but I can't quite place my finger on which one. I used to think that it was killer pythons, but someone told me to try them side by side, so I did, and I realised actually that is not the case. So my second best guess is it's those little like Wonka runts, maybe it's not Wonka, but those runts candies, but even those, it's just not quite it. If you've had this one before and you know what that flavour is, please let me know in the comments down below, because it's going to drive me crazy otherwise but it's definitely a very candy level of sweetness. It is overpoweringly sweet just in the smell alone. It's very fruity as well, definitely heavy on the mango and pineapple, but just the general tropical fruitiness of it is quite strong. So this would be a dangerous one to leave sitting around any children. So in the interest of saving the children, let's get rid of it by drinking it. The taste on this one starts out a little bit less powerful than the smell, but it definitely ramps up into overdrive on that mango flavour pretty quickly. I'm not getting a huge amount of pineapple come through in this taste, or really anything else other than mango, but it is a very artificial sort of taste, which we were expecting from the smell. 
there's none of that typical rum flavor or rum sweetness that's coming through, but it definitely does have a sweetness, that's for sure. I can't call this a balanced flavor. It's very heavy on the mango, but I'm not gonna say that it's a bad flavor either. It is great if you love mango. If you hate mango, you'll probably hate this. The other thing to note about this is that it's a really concentrated flavor. Like you can definitely tell that this was designed to be mixed with something else and it's not meant to be sipped straight. That being said, I can definitely get through a few of these glasses myself and usually because it's fairly low alcohol, it's more the sweetness that turns me off from having another glass rather than the alcohol. So final verdict, is this a high quality sipping rum? Absolutely not. Is this something that would work well in a cocktail? Maybe if you're making a mango cocktail or something that needs mango in it, because that's essentially all this tastes like. But is this something that you could use to mix with some lemonade or some soda water on a hot summer's day? Absolutely. That's what it's designed for. You can tell it from tasting it. And I have made that before and it works very, very well. This is definitely something that's meant to be diluted into a mixed drink and probably enjoyed by someone who hasn't quite refined their taste of alcohol yet. That being said, even if you are an advanced drinker with a refined palate, this is very easy to drink when it's mixed. And as you can see, I've clearly been enjoying quite a bit of it. So if you're looking for something a little bit different and easy to enjoy in a simple way this summer, see if you can grab a bottle. Pretty sure they don't make it anymore, but if there's any lying around in discount bins, it's well worth a grab. If you do happen to find any, message me and let me know, because I would, I would definitely get another bottle of this, even just for the bottle. That tiki design, I love it. I love it. So let me know if you know where any is. Otherwise, I'm going to finish this off, get this on the shelf, and I will see you in the next meeting.